How this came about is uh, we conduct uh, um, one hour school tours in the fall for K through 12 classes and they're here for an hour. And the discussion came about, uh, you know, how, how do you teach color theory uh, in one hour to someone who really doesn't, is just beginning the process of learning those things. And this was designed by graduate students and then um, uh, to meet a need of teaching color theory within an hour uh, with a hands-on uh, approach. How can we do this in such quick time? Well, the wonderful technology that's coming along, uh, iPad, iPad mini, uh, we looked for some apps, and ac actually when I say we, the, the graduate students who dreamed this project up, said, you know, students, these iPad minis are small enough that even um, a second grader can take the iPad and go to a work of art, and with a little bit of direction, pick out colors in that painting, and then uh, with an app, mix and match them, and come up with the palette that the artist would have closely used to, to produce that painting. The students know exactly uh, how to not only teach about art, but also how to manage the students. So it's been really fun as a teacher. You can just step back and watch them. So the, the past few years we've done a typical education program where you know we, we structure out a lesson plan and they come in, we talk to them, and we really try to teach them things about the art and what artists do. and, and try to help facilitate their learning. But one of the goals with the iPad project, um, which we wrote a grant for, we got a lot of support from the Utah Division of Arts and Museums. We got some support from the provost. Um, even the IT department really helped us out in this whole process. And it took a few weeks to get it up and going, but it, uh, what, what we were trying to go towards was a new experiential type of learning to where we're not actually teaching them something we're giving them the tools to where they can facilitate their own learning. I just, I'm really grateful for the program because in the schools, the teachers are the art teachers, not somebody that is hired, it's not a separate position. So we do the very best we can, introducing different art topics, but uh, the Braithwaite Gallery really finds a way to uh, even deepen our understanding as teachers of the, of the paintings and the colors in them, and. So if we're learning, we know the students are learning too. So I was very fortunate to have this iPad project, you know, and throughout the entire process of setting it up and putting the apps on and getting it ready for kids to use, I was, you know, I had the, the backing of everybody in the gallery and some ideas of what we could do. So I think this whole project from education even before iPads to education after, our group of MFA students in the gallery and even the other MFA students who work at CPVA in the festival were all instrumental in making this whole thing happen. So it's really something we were able to own and make our own to, you know, to really help us move forward in our careers. So it's definitely something we're going to take away. Some of these students will probably administer an education program in a museum at some point. And so, in essence, they're running an educational program. They're designing it. They're uh, organizing it, they're bringing the classes in. Visual literacy, uh, uh, even, even if appreciating the uh, world around us. I mean, technology, science, all of those things are absolutely important. But you have to also have to balance of the arts. Because all things are possible at this point. See, I've become set in my ways and we do it this way. All things are possible to these students.